There's a new Lotus sports car in town and it's called Emira. This is the vehicle that replaces the Evora after 10 years of faithful service and Lotus says the Emira will be just a little bit more civilized and comfortable to drive on a daily basis than its predecessor. However, that yellow and green badge on the hood means that it still has to be hilarious fun to drive, particularly when you're at a place like this, Laguna Seca Raceway. To prove its mettle, Lotus brought out Formula One world champion Jensen Button and put the Amira through its paces on this legendary racetrack, including some fantastic turns down the corkscrew. And as you can see by his smile, he is having a great time. Before we get into any of that though, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media. Like its predecessor, the Amira will come with a 3.5 liter supercharged V6 engine. Lotus doesn't have any official power ratings, but they say it should make about 400 horsepower at the top end. It will come standard with a six-speed manual transmission as this vehicle is equipped, or a six-speed automatic. However, there will also be a second engine, a two-liter turbocharged inline four sourced from AMG. Again, power ratings are unofficial, but considering the CLA 45 makes nearly 400 horsepower in US spec, we could probably expect similar performance from this vehicle as well. Additionally, with the two liter turbo engine, the Amira will come exclusively with a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Each one will be rear wheel drive as God intended. It's clear that the styling is inspired by the Avaya hypercar. You can see that with these beautiful scuttles on the grill, as well as the massive side air intakes for that mid mounted engine. This is an Amira first edition, which comes with some additional cosmetic extras like gloss black accents. And then this beautiful metallic gray paint looks just absolutely fantastic. Like I said, this particular Lotus Evora comes with a six-speed manual transmission. And as you can see, there is some very slick exposed shift linkage down there for that gearbox. It looks really great, and it's gonna give owners just something a little more exciting to point out when they're showing off their new vehicle to their friends. Unlike the Evora, the Amira will be a strict two-seater with no vestigial rear seats back there for kids and groceries. However, there is a good amount of space back here for helmets or whatever accoutrement you might want to take with you to the racetrack and we can't remember the last time we've seen a center armrest on a Lotus vehicle so it should still be pretty comfortable. The 2022 Lotus Amira goes on sale early next year in both supercharged V6 and turbocharged inline four forms. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun as we saw from Jensen's smile on the track earlier and we can't wait to slip behind the wheel. Until then, thanks for watching and stay tuned.